ADA Shepherd is North York's newest high rise to grace the uptown skyline. Built by Minto and now in its occupancy stages, this brand new condo features many of the signature touches that this developer is known for. And today I'm going to do my review of the brand new condo completed here in North York, ADA Shepherd. You won't want to miss that. Stay tuned right after this guys. Minto is a well-known developer in the city, and they have gained massive momentum over the years during a condo boom, with projects like 30 Row at Young and Eglinton, Westside, and Minto Yorkville Park. Today, however, we are going to focus on their latest completed work at ADA Shepherd. But anyway, let's get started on our review. Let's go upstairs and have a look. So the first thing I noticed about these units is the floor plan. It felt comfortable, spacious and totally functional. There didn't seem to be any misuse of space and as we all know a few extra square footage used properly really adds value to a condo suite. Which is important because as we all know you pay for the square footage when you buy and sell. And you also pay maintenance fees based on the interior square footage of your condo. In case you didn't know. The second thing you'll notice is the ceiling height which I am thoroughly in love with. When space is a premium, ceiling height really makes a big difference for buyers. So a really strong positive that I saw with 88 Shepherd was indeed the ceiling height. Sounds like a small thing, but it gives the illusion of a bigger space. We even measured it out and it looks like a full nine feet to me. Thumbs up to Minto for doing a great job here. Okay, so now let's talk about the den. I was also really impressed with the den in this particular unit. It was large, Bigger than some master bedrooms I've seen. You could probably even fit a queen size bed in here quite easily. But the biggest surprise of all was that it had a closet. Wow. The only thing missing is a window to truly call it a bedroom. But I know a lot of people these days would actually prefer to live in a windowless cave since they like their bedrooms blacked out completely anyways. As a bedroom this den almost checks all the boxes except the window thing. So technically in this market here in Toronto, this is an exceptional value because it actually lives more like a two bedroom than a one plus den. So the master bedrooms are pretty master like, although I do find them a little small with no ensuite connection to the bath, which is what buyers generally prefer these days. But of course you do get that excellent sized den. So pluses and minuses, you can't really have it all in real estate. But this particular unit has a gorgeous walk-in closet, which I know the ladies and even myself really appreciate. I like the added touch Minto gave to buyers with custom built storage and closet solutions. Let's head out to my favorite part of the condo, the kitchen. As you can see, we've come a long way in the condo game where standard features today include granite countertops, ceramic backsplash, Whirlpool stainless steel appliances, undermount deep single sink, which is what buyers really like these days, and of course the retractable faucet head. I really like the way this kitchen is laid out with the L shape, giving you much more cooking and counter space, with the functional breakfast bar where you can entertain guests or have an argument with your wife while she's chopping carrots. Angry wife with a knife? <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Back to the kitchen configurations. So after seeing a number of units in the building, I've concluded that this one plus den has one of the better kitchens out there. But as good of a developer as Minto is, even they are not immune to the small kitchen trend that has plagued builders in the city over the last few years. But maybe I'm a little old school. I still think of the kitchen as the heart of the home. And for me, I like entertaining. So it's always the centerpiece of the home and should provide the money shot when it comes to selling any piece of real estate. So now that we know what a smaller unit looks like, let's take a quick peek at a larger unit. Again, nice high and clean ceiling height. Well used space. Excellent view, but living and dining is unnecessarily large, making the bedrooms a little bit tight. This unit has an awesome view overlooking a park and school, and probably has one of the better views in the building. Here are a few other views you want to consider at ADA Shepherd. Okay, so we're almost done. Elvis cannot leave the building, at least until we talk about amenities. 24 hour concierge, guest suites, pro gym, yoga studio, meeting room, underground parking, Minto's signature water garden, and outdoor barbecues. 
So this concludes my full review of North York's latest project to complete by Minto. ADA Shepherd, and I'd have to say I'm really happy to see a lot of the signature touches that I've grown accustomed to and which I love because I used to live in a Minto condo myself. Overall, I really like the planning, execution, and additional things the builder added to the units to help condo owners and investors preserve value and live comfortably, even though we know condo spaces are getting smaller all across the city. I'm a big fan of those little extra conveniences that sometimes go unnoticed because it's just nice to have things already done for you. Or as the term goes in this business, term key. So I'm sure ADA Shepherd will look spectacular and become the vision that it was intended to be by the developer. Especially when the water garden feature is complete in the summertime and people are hanging out, you're going to come to see just how beautiful this condo and this location and environment is. So until next time guys, thanks for watching this brand new condo review of ADA Shepherd here in North York. We'll talk to you soon.